One of the most important reasons to use GSAP for animating transforms is the GS transform object which gives you access to each individual transform value. I have a tween set up here to take this box and translate it along the x-axis, rotate it, and skew it a bit. Now, during or after the animation, you may want to know what those individual transform values are. In order to perform these transformations, GSAP applies an inline transform matrix. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. And you'll see right here this inline style. We have this transform matrix with all these values. Now, not many humans are going to be able to look at this string of numbers here and tell you what the skew x value is or the rotation. Fortunately, whenever GSAP sets or animates a transform value, it attaches a GS transform object to it with discrete values for each property. You'll notice here that the get values button is set up to log out whatever the box.gs transform object is. Let me press the get values button, open up the console, and you'll see that we get this object here that has all these different properties for the rotation, rotation x, scale, skew x is 45, x is 400. So now that I know that that object is attached to that DOM element, I can query those values whenever I want. And it's important to note that the GS transform object is read only. You can't set values through it. I have a similar demo set up here where when I play this animation, you can see that I'm logging all the transform values as the animation plays. So this GS transform object can come in really handy. If you have to get values like this during a CSS animation, I think it'd be pretty tricky.